Hi everyone, it's Crumble Chris here. Back for another session of Two Point Hospital with Hey, Let's Play. This is the third episode in the series where today we are going to get our Two Point Hospital game up to three star on the first hospital and we will start the second hospital. So as you can see, I'm just adjusting the audio because I want you to be able to hear me and not the game itself. And I think the first thing we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is just look at what we've got to do to get three stars. So we have to cure 30 patients and we've now done 29 of them. We have to earn 400,000 and we've got 127 and a bit left and we have to get a hospital value of 750,000 and as you can see we've already got that we've got a health inspector currently visiting us as from last time and of course the game is moaning about us having too many nurses now i wish i understood this because i do not think we have too many nurses because i hire one nurse for every time that we for every room that we need a nurse and I hire a doctor in the same way so I don't think we have too many nurses but the game seems to think so and I think this is to do with the algorithm it seems to let nurses wander off out of an out of a room that needs a nurse until that room is actually needed by a patient now whilst this is wonderful in a real life situation in game it's a bit frustrating and you will notice today that um, my mouth on the webcam does not match what I'm saying and this is because I was somewhat of an idiot and forgot to um, record audio whilst recording the video and I remembered at around 10 minutes, or realised at around 10 minutes, that I did not have any um, audio recorded. So this is me recording, and the downside to doing this is that at around the time I realised I was not wearing my microphone and it was not switched on, we got the three star on this hospital. So I really want to share this with you and so I'm just recording over with my voice so that you can see what I achieved. The most of this, most of what I'm doing right now, you know, we are three minutes into the video at this point and I'm just clearing out an inspection report or just have cleared out an inspection report, sorry, from the VIP that came to see us in the previous episode. And now we are going to move to looking at the ward and making sure that there is a nurse in the ward. And there definitely is. Now we're going to look and see what we can do to increase the productivity and the way the building runs so we're going to buy some air conditioning units and the reason we're going to unlock and buy these air conditioning units is because the air conditioning units regulate the temperature better than just a radiator or anything else though those of us who have lived in america will be very aware of this because air conditioning is very common it's very common in offices around europe but not in homes the way it is in america so at this point you will notice as happens every episode the game locks up for a few seconds when i try and do something new um i'm not really sure why this keeps on happening i have a feeling that there is something in the game there's something in the processor time that it needs to move some stuff into memory that it struggles to do i guess i don't know 
So we are now five minutes in. We've cured all of our patients. All 30 patients have been cured. We only have 60, 70,000 to earn. And I am going around and putting air conditioning units in in different places. And you'll see the floor turns blue when I do this. And that's to show me how well the air conditioning unit is providing air conditioning for that room. So you can see in this pharmacy, which I made a bit bigger in the previous episode, the air conditioning needed two small units to make it work. But that general diagnosis room only needs one. The ward, I'm going to put two units in, and I struggle with this a little bit because I don't really want to put a unit in the middle of the floor. That's not what you would do in a normal hospital. You would move other things around. But in the end, I, I realise I've got no choice. I move around a bit, I try and see, but I've got no choice. I have to put it in the middle of the floor. And then for the remainder of the rooms, I go back and I use the small air conditioning units to make sure that the rooms are sufficiently conditioned, I guess you'd say. So we're moving forward. We've still got a small amount of money to earn to get to the three-star hospital status. Um, we, I'm drinking a wonderful coffee right now from my new coffee machine. Um, I'm not going to say who made it, but it's a very popular manufacturer in the UK that makes the pod based coffees and now I'm adding a third GP's office and I'm doing this to give a bit of overflow protection to help us get up to that three star but also so that we have an additional way of funneling patients through to the various departments within the hospital one of the problems I found in the previous two episodes is that patients don't come through as quickly as maybe I'd like and you can see here the game is complaining that I don't have enough radiators because I put too many air conditioning units in unfortunately one of the downsides to the air conditioning units is it makes everything cold so I will need to either take some air conditioning units out or put some radiators in I shall probably put some radiators in so I've now made the GP's office and I am going to hire a doctor. I've hired a doctor. And if only this was like real life, if you could really pick up doctors and nurses and just teleport them or pick them up and move them from one place to another like that, it would make hospitals much more efficient, I feel. So we're now very, very, very close to getting three stars. And once we get three stars, we're going to go and replicate this again with the other hospital. Oh, we have an emergency for the pharmacy. We've got two pharmacies in this hospital, so that won't be a problem. I don't actually do anything about the heating in this hospital right now because I don't feel we're so close to getting three stars that I don't feel we need to right now. However... I am going to build a new room um, in that corner at some point. I haven't decided what room I'm going to build at this point, but I will build something in there eventually. So we have the emergency coming into the various pharmacies. We're, we're making progress. I'm adding some more benches to give them somewhere to sit down because obviously they need to be able to sit down. Uh, we, we get penalised in the game if they cannot sit down. And you can see the janitor in the bottom left of the screen clearing up a ghost before we get to our three-star hospital. So we are so close. We are so very close. We are going to get, in a minute, We are going. you are going to be able to hear me again. So I will carry on talking for the next 20 seconds, maybe. And then we will see what happens. Ooh. 
Hopefully you didn't hear that. That was me scrubbing along on the video. So I will carry on on the next 20 seconds and then you will see what happens. Well, five seconds now. So there we go. There we have it, guys. Back over to in-game me. I'm sorry for this and I hope you can forgive me. Let me try that one again, everyone. I got my microphone out, but did not put it on. I will add my voiceover in in post, I think. Okay, so let's go to the second hospital. We've now made the first hospital is now three star. We have one hospital that is open. This one is not open to us yet. This one is, and that is a horrible buzzing noise. But you can't hear it, so that's good. So let's go to Lower Bullocks. I apologize everyone, I cannot believe I did that. I forgot to put my microphone on. Okay, so, welcome to Lower Bullocks. It's a lovely little village with a big problem. A significant proportion of the population believe themselves to be rock stars. There's only one thing that can cure this, psychiatry. Only doctors with a psychiatry qualification will be able to diagnose and treat people in a psychiatry room. We've managed to find one, but you should keep your eyes peeled for job applicants with psychiatry and other useful qualifications. Let's see. I need to, so the first thing it wants me to do is build psychiatry. Now that's a very large GP's room. I think I'm going to build psychiatry over here. Mm -hmm. Psychiatry. Needs to be three by three. Even with this new better mouse, it's it's not doing some things that other things were doing, but it's still causing me a problem. There we go. We've been contacted by Bumble Technologies, who run various research hospitals across the country. They have an interesting proposition for us. Their psychiatry license was recently revoked due to an incident with... Well, it's best not to go into it. They want us... They want to send us psychiatry patients, and in exchange will, will allow us to buy some of their latest technology. Until our organization requires acquires a research license, we need all the technology we can get our hands on. That sounds good. Let's build the hospital a bit. Okay, well... Is there a doctor for this? Doctor? You are a psychiatry doctor. Where are you? You should be... Here. And then I should hire a doctor. We should take this doctor. Because they can also work. There. So. We need to build the rest of the hospital up. So I suggest we build a pharmacy. That's hiring stuff. We need a pharmacy. Now I'm going to suggest we actually build two. Yes, I will hire an S in a second. Okay. Mock star but okay. So that is the treatment. That's the pharmacy thing. So we need to hire a nurse. Let's hire this nurse. And let's put a 
Do you have a diagnosis office next to it? There we go. Okay, so to upgrade the machine, we need a janitor with the mechanics qualification. Okay, so we need to hire a mechanic, a janitor with mechanic that has maintenance, motivation, maintenance, stamina, and ghost. We're going to hire this janitor anyway, because we need a janitor to repair things, but... New applicant in five days. Okay, so we can't hire anyone else yet. Um, let's. We need a nurse to go in here. There we go. So we have a nurse. Okay, so we have general diagnosis. We have a psychiatry. This is quite a big building. Oh, that looks like there's other plots we can use in here. Okay. So. Next to this, so let's build a ward. Oh, let's deal with these letters first, okay. Verbal diarrhea. Upgrading machines and a ward required. Get patient to wait. Okay, so we need to build a ward anyway now. So let's build a ward. Should we build a small ward? No. Room, ward. Put the door there, put the counter there, changing table there. So we're just adding lockers. I'm afraid these two are going to be pretty close together. And a bin. And a f ooh, ooh, ooh. Machine upgrade is complete. Okay, that's wonderful. There we go. So I've added a fire extinguisher. Okay, so now let's add a nurse who can work in the ward. Okay, so it wants us. Let's create a new building. Where can we get a new building? Is this a building? It's seventy-five thousand. Ooh, we need more money to do that. What about this building? 50,000. And still a lot of money. We need more money first.
we need more money first. Okay, so I think... Rooms. Pans Lab. Ah. We can't put that there. Okay, so, I keep on forgetting to do that, it's quite bad. I must always remember to turn my phone off, but considering I forgot to even put my microphone on today, I'm not going to moan about forgetting to turn my phone off. Okay, what does a pan's lab need? No, not the plant. The pan's lab itself. It has a doctor already, okay. Um, no, I'm going to reject that because I'm not sure we can put a level 4 staff room in right now. I'm not sure we have the money. We don't have anyone at reception, and um, we... We need more staff, apparently. Let's just get a one-star cheap doctor for the GP's office for now. You might have too many nurses, several of them are currently idle. Well, we have one nurse per room. Maybe we don't need one nurse per room, but I think we do. Oh, what's this? Okay, we've discovered a new illness, that's good. So I think today, folks, we are going to... We going to build out this hospital. We're hopefully going to get enough money so we can buy the smaller plot next door. And then I'm going to build... So I've got a general diagnosis, I've got a pharmacy, I've got a GP's office. Let's put a Dulux clinic in. A doctor now. Doctors are things we're always running short of, so... There we go. Okay, so we have now... A deluxe clerk? A doctor? Cool. We're currently at level 5. We need to own two buildings and we need to cure three patients in the Pan's Lab. So our pa Pan's Lab is not doing very much. So I think, unfortunately, until we get more money, until we get up to 100,000, I'm not wanting to spend money on any of the new plots of land. I'd like to put some toilets in, but I'm unsure as to where to put them. Maybe behind the... Ooh, rooms. Toilet. Put 
equipment here. There we go. We have some toilets, which will at least allow people to go to the bathroom. I would like to put up some, maybe some drinks machines somewhere near the front. So I think we're, we're starting to get there. Oh, that's a bad sign. That's a patient that's died. So we now have drinks machines here as well. We have... Yes, I know they don't have a staff room to go to. I'm slightly concerned about this myself. I'm going to build a small staff room then because... I don't think I can do much more at this stage. So we're getting there guys, we're getting there. Um, I'm going to put a telephone in as well. Oh no, I can't. Put a plant in. And a small air conditioning unit is all we need. And a fire extinguisher. Right by the door. There we go, we have a staff room for people. I'm sure we'll use it. It looks... It's a bit of a higgledy-piggledy hospital right now. I wish I could redo this GP's office. Well, I can, but not without building a second one first. I wonder if that's something I need to do. If I can build a second one. And so what I'm doing, guys, is just literally just putting things in that I think and hope will make a difference. There we go. So we have a second GP's office now. It's not as big, but and it's, we, this hospital is a complete mess. What I should have done is put the door to the bathroom the other side. And then I could have put the GP's office directly behind. Just sticking out by one instead of all three. I could have made it sticking out less, but I'd rather give people. Oh, 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 I need to answer some of these. Okay. Okay, so lightheadedness has been discovered. Deluxe credit. 
Okay. Promote the staff member. Yes. Accept. Okay. Let's see whether we can go 90 days after death. Not really sure we have an option on that one, but. Can I? There we go, so that frees up room for another room there, which I'm going to put a second psychiatry room. I did not see that message at all, so hopefully it wasn't that important. There we go, we have a second psychiatry room, that's good. We're running very low on money, I'm not sure how this is going to work. Do we have a doctor that's free that's not actually... I think we now have we might have enough doctors now. Okay, so ninety days without to death. We've gone forty eight days so far. We've got twenty five thousand in the bank. This is not good. I'm really concerned about this. So what I need to do is put up some seats. I have no seats anywhere, that's... We have seats near there, actually. So we're making some progress, folks, but it's... I'm very worried about that cash flow. There we go. Ooh. We cured all four patients. That's wonderful. So do we have... We have 83,000. We're starting to build some cash up as well. That's good. I 
What's this nice doing? Oh, they're getting a snack. Let's look at the star. Look at the nurses. We have a few. We only have three. On a break. Working in ward. Working in pharmacy. Let's hire a new nurse then. There we go. Sixty-one thousand. Going in the right direction, I guess. Okay, so the hospital is now a level six hospital. That's wonderful news. We don't own two buildings yet. I'm going to go for this small one, I think. But and we've cured two people in the Pan's lab, and we've gone ninety days without a death. That's wonderful news. That's absolutely wonderful news, everyone. We've gone 90 days without a death. So now we've just got to get to a one star. And I think, now we've done the 90 days, I think we shall leave it there. I've got some voiceover work to do today, apparently. So let's... Oh, we've just killed three patients in the Pans Lab as well. We're doing well. So I think that's it for today, folks. Make sure you like... Or you can dislike too. Let me know how you feel about this episode. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you're feeling really generous, su support me on Patreon. It sounded like I was going to go into a rap there, so we're doing well today. Um, and also, don't forget, I am now on Twitter. At way too crumbly Or crumbly. Not quite sure how to pronounce it because I missed out the E at the end. So, folks, until next time, I will see you soon. Ooh, 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 ooh. I will see you soon, folks. Have a good day. And tomorrow we have... What, what day is it tomorrow? Tomorrow it's Tuesday. Tomorrow there are no episodes coming out. On Wednesday we will have Wacky Wednesday. Make sure you tune in for that. See you soon, folks.